channel it's your girl Jackie Ina I've been gone for a minute now I'm back with the jump off I haven't really done a favorites video in a couple months actually I haven't done a favorites video since the end of last year so I tried to keep this video as condensed as possible and I tried to really stick to the things that I've been dedicated to for the past couple months these are items that I've been traveling with these are items that I have been glued to and this, that, and the other. So if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna jump right in. Tarte recently launched a bunch of cream liners and I'm not typically one to go for cream liners. You guys know I usually stick with pencil, but these make wonderful bases. They also make wonderful gel liners. The one that I'm going to be featuring today is this blue one. This blue one has been my jam. I love wearing just a bright cobalt blue liner and then I'll pair it with a red lip and it's just been like my go-to classy but still uh, amped up because you know I get so like stuck in a rut sometimes with my makeup looks my everyday palette is like golds or rose golds and this has been a fun way to kind of add a twist on what I typically would wear I got so many compliments when I wore this liner on my snapchat a couple times also on Instagram and I've been traveling with it and actually wearing it more than I typically would so had to feature it. Next I have this gold glitter. This one is from Lena Lashes. I don't have a name, but it's been um, a nice way to kind of spruce up and add some shimmer to any look. You know it's something that's a favorite of mine when I travel with it because it's like I have to have it, I have to have it. It's been a must have for me. So I've been taking this with me and kind of like adding a, a pop of glitter to my everyday looks. So I'm really loving this right now. I've also been into this really like icy blue steel eye and I've been creating that look using the metallic metal shadows from Stila. This one's in the shade Titanium. It is literally an icy blue steel. So pretty and someone actually tweeted me the other day, what are my favorite glitter metallic eyeshadows? I would definitely say it was, it's the ones from Stila. They're super pigmented, one swipe, and look at the look at the pigmentation in that, beautiful. You get that high shine color payoff of a glitter, but it applies like a shadow. I also have an olive green one and like a bright orange gold one that I use. Anytime I really wanna get a shadow to pop a bit more, I'll throw these on top. No regrets. I have been truly, madly, deeply in all the way in love with the Tartlet In Bloom palette from Tarte. This one, actually, I came across on a few YouTubers and I didn't realize I didn't have it. So I saw it and I was like, why don't I have that palette? Went to Sephora, picked it up, and I have not put this thing down since I bought it. What I like about this palette is it has a nice amount of crease colors. It has colors that are dark enough to really darken up an eye because sometimes those crease colors that everyday palettes have, are just not dark enough for dark skin. These three right here are gonna get you together, okay? And this gold, just it's just beautiful. Love, love, love this palette. Love it. It's a perfect, like, every day. I don't know what else to do with my makeup, so I'm grabbing this one. And the next palette that I've been reaching for a lot, and I've been taking this on every single trip with me lately, and this is actually, I feel like, an unexpected favorite of mine, is the Vice Reloaded. I had no idea that I would like this palette as much as I do. Um, not because of I mean, I do feel like the, the placement of colors and the color choices are a little random, but I've been taking this palette with me everywhere. And all of you guys that have seen me rocking that like black, heavy, smoky eye in some of the events that I've attending lately, um, it's been with this palette. These two right here are going to be your ticket straight to smoky eye, okay? This blue is gorgeous. I've featured these purples in an Instagram makeup tutorial. I love this palette. I feel like it's got just the right amount of edgy shadows. This is definitely more of your smokier, edgy colors if you want to take something. If you want something that is going to be like a standout eye look, I'm reaching for her. We get along real good. I have been religiously using the Smashbox color correcting stick. I think that they knocked this one out of the park. They just launched a bunch of color correcting sticks. They come in like green, lavender. I've seen a light peach and then I have the dark peach, which is what I've been using to color correct my, around my mouth and blemishes all, every single time I wear makeup. It's the perfect, it's just the right amount of peach. I like that it's functional, I like that it's in a stick, it's creamy. Once you put it on, it just kind of stays put. Sometimes liquid correctors can be a little tricky to work with because they, they start to spread and they start to spread and move around and they're a little bit difficult to control. But this one, since it's in a pencil form, you can put it right exactly where you need it and you're good, okay? It's highlight season. Summer is going to be coming up any minute, any minute now, we're just waiting. I'm all about glow products, not just highlighters on the face, but I'm going to start dwelling into that direction in this video shortly, okay? So right now, my two favorite highlighters of all time. I have never loved Blush Copper from Becca as much as I have the past 
month or two. I don't know what it is. I've just been gravitating it towards it lately. It is just like, it's, it's really, beauty comes in unexpected shades sometimes. It's not typically, now obviously this is not going to be suitable for fair skin tones unless you're wearing it as a blush, but as a highlight, oh my God. It's just the perfect copper, you know, I just, Jesus loves Becca. Jesus really loves, Je they are highly favored. They, they get it right, they really do. Another thing that kind of shocked me that I end up really, really liking and I've been traveling with a lot lately is the Seduction Highlighter. This is one of the face illuminators from the new Laura Mercier collection. Or I think these might've been relaunched. Some of you guys have told me that in the comments, which I'm not complaining about, hey. But I've really been into these dark, really deep dark. See, as you can see, these both have a lot in common. They're both on the darker side. So, ladies, fair to medium, um, these are blushes. I think they'd be way too dark as highlighters, but deep dark to like deep dark skin tones, you're welcome. I've actually been using Opal as kind of like a booster highlighter. So I'll wear my blush copper first and then I'll put a little opal on top to make it really, like just have fun with highlighters you can layer them why not and then I'll do the same thing with um, seduction I'll wear that one and then I'll put kind of more of a champagne one just to get it to stand out a bit more y'all ain't gonna miss me in the dark let me just tell you that okay okay the two best glow products that I have for the body right now and I would know because I get an infinite amount of compliments I wear this in pictures I always make sure that I put this on when I'm wearing um, when my arms are exposed and my legs are exposed one is the Too Faced Royal Oil, and this is probably one of my favorite products that they've launched this year to date. It's a coconut oil body bronzer. It smells phenomenal. And I actually found this out by accident, but it's it's transfer free. So what I would do is I would put this one on. Normally, I would wear my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz alone, which by the way is my other favorite of the month. So what I was doing is I was, I usually, typically I wear this by itself, which works great. Only thing that sucks about body highlighters is they do transfer. So I remember I was in Coachella, just, you know, having a good old time. And it, I took Royal Oil with me because I wanted to try it for the first time. And then I put Becca on top of it and I noticed that it wasn't as transferous, if that's a word, as it normally is. And I was like, hey, then come to find out, you know, I'm packing my stuff, I'm, I'm just like, you know, doing what I do. And it says it's transfer free. So I'm like, oh, it must have been the Too Faced that did that. Which is amazing because an oil this dark, you really want to use something that is transfer free, right? Because you don't want that stuff all over your clothes. Like it's one thing to get it on your neckline, right? But once you get makeup on your clothes, girl, it's a nightmare. So anyway, I'm really thankful for these products, not only because they look phenomenal alone, but they work beautifully together. And yeah, Too Faced World Oil, good looking out on it being transfer free. I'm wearing it now, just in case you can't already tell. Everyone's always saying I look glowy. Even when I'm not wearing these products, people are always saying I look glowy. But you know what? A little added enhancement doesn't hurt nobody. I would highly, highly, highly recommend both of these products individually and together. Just, just chocolate dripped Godiva. I can't help it, you know? Part of it is God given, I know. And the other part is a little bit of royal oil and Becca. I have one foundation, this was hard, okay? Because foundations are, you know, I have a soft spot for foundations, but I wanted to keep this video short. And this month, my favorite has been NARS Sheer Glow. Thank you guys who recommended this to me because I thought, I'm sure just like everyone else thought, you know, Sheer Glow is probably going to be really dewy. It's probably going to be really shiny. I have oily combination skin, so I typically reach for foundations that are a little more matte, and it wasn't that at all. It's like the perfect, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's matte. It's not a matte foundation, but it's not glowy either. It has the perfect balance of looking like my skin. Beautiful coverage. I wear the shade Macau, and it's just, I love this foundation. It's lightweight. It's like my perfect daytime foundation. Like, can you not? This is my favorite daytime foundation if I have an event where I know I'm gonna be photographed but I don't wanna wear something as heavy as like Tanti Doll or like Double Wear. I'll wear this because it just does exactly what I want it to do and yeah, beautiful. I have a concealer that I wanted to show you guys. I featured this in a few videos. This is the Pure, what's it called? Disappearing Ink Concealer. I met the Pure team sometime last year. We all did this trip to Cabo and they pretty much gave us the entire batch of like Pure products which I've literally been falling in love with little by little. One day I picked up this concealer and I actually really, really liked it. It reminds me a lot of like the Charlotte Tilbury retouch sticks. It's kind of got that 
watery, not I shouldn't say water, but it's just got the right amount of consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Beautiful coverage, and this is a great concealer that I can wear in the daytime where I do want some coverage, you know, but I don't want to wear a ton of makeup. My favorite setting spray that has, in my opinion, stood out above the other finishing sprays that I use is this one from Basha. It is the White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Spray. This is probably, um, I, I love the setting sprays from Urban Decay, don't get me wrong, I do think that they help set makeup, but this, in my opinion, is the only actual mattifying setting spray that works for my skin. Now, other people will tell you, you know, oh, this one that I use does it for me. I tried them, and in my opinion, they just don't mattify. They set makeup, but this is the only one that actually mattifies. So, good looking out, Basha. I rolls with you heavily for this spray. I love it, and as you can see, I've been using it quite a while. I have a lot of lip products, and I've got my arm ready because I will be swatching them. First is my all-time favorite lip pencil of the year or of the quarter semester whatever it's Dahlia from Colourpop I've been wearing this with all my pinks because she just does it for me this looks so good with my nude pinks this looks so good with my dark pinks I've just been really getting a kick out of me some Dahlia okay Punk from Smashbox is a lip color that I reached for a lot these past couple months it's a very very unique it's that zombie purple color but I'm telling you if you wear it with the right lip pencil honey she looks real good. You can even, like, this looks just as good with Dahlia. I mean, the colors are contrasting next to each other like that, but I promise you, when they're blended in together, if you have not seen my Spring Glam makeup tutorial, check it out, because I featured this lip color and I show you how I rock it. And these Be Legendary lipsticks from Smashbox, the formula is bomb. Like, they're super creamy, very opaque. Like, you saw how it was with One Swipe. Look at that. Damn, girl. Don't get me wrong, I love the liquid lipstick trend, but there's just something I miss about a moisturizing, you know, the taking off the cap and twisting it up and putting on an old fashioned lipstick. It feels like lipsticks are vintage now. It's funny because all the other lip products that I'm featuring are liquid lipsticks. I'm just saying when it comes to lip, like traditional lipsticks right now, I'm all about Be Legendary and Punked is one of my favorites from the entire collection. Nude Beach is my other one. It's the perfect peach. If you're looking for a nice peach lipstick, check out Nude Beach. This month Pure launched some liquid lipsticks and I have to say, I have a very, very specific criteria that I look for in formulation with liquid lipsticks. I just find that the gel, liquid lipsticks that apply more like a gel versus a liquid are just more comfortable for me. So these have that formula. Formula is phenomenal. And the color that I've been wearing a lot lately is FBF. This color though, this is the perfect everyday apricot peach lipstick. Bam. I had to also include James from Lena Lashes because although I haven't been wearing it recently, I would say last month and the month before that this was the color that I was wearing religiously every single day. And since I haven't done a favors in a while, we doing it now. Okay, this is probably, in my opinion, like, I don't know why this color, every time I see this color, I just think of denim. It's like, does that even make sense? Do you guys know what I'm saying? This color just reminds me of the perfect pink that you wear with like denim. It just looks beautiful. It stays matte, it's long wearing, and between these two, these have been my jam. Now, as of the past couple of weeks, an old purchase that I've been reaching for a lot lately is Dose of Colors in the shade Teddy. Now, I'm about to blow your mind, honey. Okay, look at Teddy. Teddy is this beautiful metallic copper color, but what other copper were we talking about earlier? Okay, blushed copper. Is this not blushed copper? In lipstick like in lipstick form okay maybe blush copper is a little lighter but the coordination of these two together is just impeccable people are gonna be stopping you on the street and mobbing you for these comp for this combination I'm telling you if you are following I hate to keep like shamelessly plugging in my other socials if you guys do follow me on Instagram then you know how good this color photographs and how great it looks with this sometimes I use this highlighter like as an inner corner color as an accent color like on my cheekbones and my all-time favorite all-time favorite pink that I'm wearing this month is Cassis from Jouer snapchat's probably sick of me talking about this but it's just the perfect this is such a beautiful color and you know what shout out to Jouer because my old bottle of Cassis broke for some some weird way and they 
overnighted me a new replacement one. I was not expecting them to get it to me that quickly, but that was just really, really sweet. They knew it was my favorite lip color, and I was also planning on taking this with me on a trip, and it just so happens that they overnighted it, so it just was really sweet because I really wanted to take that lipstick with me, but I couldn't because it broke, and anyway, it's just shameless appreciation. I just really appreciate that because I was able to take the lipstick with me on my trip, and all was well. It's just a beautiful rosy pink and I've just been really having fun with this color palette the past couple months. On a lighter note, the moisture sticks from Neutrogena are amazing. They are not really, I mean it's not really a lipstick, it's just kind of like a balm. And I love, my two favorites at the moment are Almond Nude. This is one that I reach for when I just kind of want a little bit of color on the lips. You know, almost kind of gives you that ombre gradient look. And um, Berry Brown is actually a color that I wore on my most recent Neutrogena review. This one's got more pink and this one's more of a nude. And they're just a very, very nice sheer wash of color. They're super moisturizing and they smell really good. They smell like Fruit Loops. I wish Sigma would send me all of these Aura powders because they are bomb. This became my new everyday blush for all of my peach looks, all of my nude looks, all of my simple, you know, understated looks. Beautiful color, beautiful color. It's not ashy, it's not dusty. It's the perfect shade of everyday peach. And the pigmentation on these are bomb. I'm really going to go and order the rest of these because I'm highly, highly impressed with not only the color, but the, the formulation of these blushes. Oh, and the last, the last makeup product that I wanna talk about before I get into some skin and hair care are the newest, latest and greatest from Benefit. This is not an ad, guys. I promise you, I genuinely cannot stop putting these products down. The past three years, Benefit has been creating a new expanded line of brow products that are now available to more shades. It's about time. So thank you for that Benefit. They have a really, 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 this is the thinnest brow pencil I've ever seen. And you know what? The best part about it is it doesn't break on you. This is the Precisely My Brow in the shade number four. I'm gonna go and get a darker one, but you get the most precise brow with this with this pencil, okay? Now, whenever I wanna cover more surface area of my brow, I'm gonna use the Goof Proof Pencil. This is a really, really nice, softer brow pencil. Do you see how I'm building that up? And you can't even like, even still you're like, wow, I can't even see that, check this out. Then there's like the pointed side where you can, again, get more precision. So this, I feel, between the two, if you're debating on should you get the precise or, so if you're debating on whether you wanna get the precise brow pencil or Goof Proof, I would actually say Goof Proof because there's a pointed end, but then there's a fat, there's a fat end too. So you can get your sharp line and then, you know, fill in the rest of the brow with the fatter side. They also came out with a new shade of the high brow, which is my favorite. I never have been this excited for a brow bone highlight because I typically don't really go for, they just end up looking ashy on me half the time. But I love this. It's a beautiful champagne. This is one of those like things that you can use, not just for your brows. You can pop it in the inner corners, use it as a cheekbone highlight, dot it on the nose, Cupid's bow. It's a pencil, so have at it. You know, have fun with it, get creative, and you can use it in so many different ways, and it looks good on my skin tone. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. It's not too frosty. It's not too light. Good job, Benefit. You guys really did that, and congratulations, Danessa. That has to be a huge accomplishment that she got to you know, work informally. But if she's involved in anything, I know it's gonna be wonderful. She's awesome. Okay, now let's move into some skincare. I also have some hair care products that I wanna shout out and um, some fragrances. I'm gonna start incorporating more fragrances. Now, the first one is a gel moisturizer that I've really, really been loving. A product that is a little pricey, a little pricey because it's Lancome, but it does the job. This is the Energy Davy. It is their light lotion in a gel. This literally feels like you're putting water on your skin. I, I actually only use this while I'm wearing makeup. Okay, not on my days where I'm staying home, not doing nothing. So if you're contemplating trying it and you're debating, is it worth the splurge, is it not? Go get a sample and try it, see for yourself. But I'm here to tell you, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Sometimes I'll throw in a couple drops of beauty oil too, just to kind of, you know, add more glow. But it's really, really good. I did this huge haul. I bought all these like skincare things and masks from um, Amazon. Some of the stuff came from China. Some of the stuff came from Korea. It took forever to get here. One of my favorite products from that haul though is this, I have no idea what this name is. I'm sorry guys. I'm going to link it in the description box down below so you know the exact seller that I bought it from. But this is a black peel off charcoal mask. Just a quick tip with peel off masks, you have to put on a really thick layer because a lot of people say they're painful to remove. I've never had that problem, but I've been applying these really heavily. So the thicker the product is, the less it's like pulling. It's not painful at all for me. At least it hasn't been for me to use this product. And it does actually pull the debris out of the skin. And my skin feels 
baby soft. It's almost kind of like a mini peel. I love this stuff and I have two bottles so I'm really really happy that I ended up liking it. The last skincare item that I have is an eye cream. This is one that I've been reaching for a lot lately. It is the eye cream from Benefit. I love how thick and creamy this is. You know I actually have a few high-end eye creams that I've been kind of eh. This one has really stood out to me though. I get a lot of questions on how I get my curls, my natural curls, so defined and I've been loving the entire line from Kinky Curly absolutely loving now this is not the only line of hair care products that I use I do try to rotate products and uh, just so that it gives my hair a chance to not get too used to them but their curling custard is the best for defining curls guys but once but you guys also have to remember that hair products unfortunately are not one size fits all what works for me may not necessarily work for you but this has been my jam lately okay my jam they also have a really really good detangler which I feel like it does help to use like the same, like if you're gonna use a line, like use their conditioner with their detangler, with their define, you know, try to stay within the same line but because they're all formulated to work well together. And because my hair is so fine, it's so curly, and it's it gets really, really tangly, but my hair has been easier to manage a lot lately. And I would say it's between the detangler and this product. This is what, what I throw on when I really want my curls to pop, 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 pop. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, my last two fragrances, you guys I know I won't shut up about on Snapchat, and I know they're very expensive, but look, I can't help what the heart loves. I can't help it, okay? Tom Ford, I'm tired of you and all your bomb fragrances. Like, I'm tired. The Soleil Blanc is just, oh, a match made in heaven. A match made in heaven. So first, I discovered the Shimmering Oil by accident because I was at the boutique in Beverly Hills, and I actually didn't even go in for this, but I tried it, not realizing that it was a fragrance. Because, you know, I like to play, and I'm like, ooh, body oil, sprayed it on. And all throughout the day, I kept, what is that? And I was like, oh my god, that's that body oil. It smells so freaking good. But it's 99 dollars. I don't buy a product that expensive unless I'm like, yo, I really, really like it. It's expensive, but you know what? If you really think about it, you're essentially paying for a fragrance and the body oil so it kind of just it kind of justifies it but it is Tom Ford so of course it's gonna be expensive but in my opinion it's worth it and I've been wearing this practically every day and I haven't even put, I'm actually surprised at how much is still in here I've not put a dent in this bottle I've been, I wear this several times a week I get so many compliments on it not just on camera but in person it looks bomb me not realizing that Soleil Blanc is a fragrance too I went and I bought the actual fragrance because I don't know how to say Eau de Perfume but oh my god this is my fancy schmancy big girl perfume that I love love this for this is my favorite scent right now Tom Ford makes some of my favorite fragrances right now but the Soleil Blanc right now are my favorites and they just so happen to be really expensive why is that like why do they do that why Tom why the stuff I really like has to be really expensive okay guys well I really hope that you enjoyed this month's favorites it was kind of Fun to be back after not doing it for a long time. And I look forward to sharing next month's favorites with you guys. I will see you on my next video. Please subscribe on your way out if you have not already. I'd love to see you come back. Thanks again for hanging out on today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.